I'm Stephen Verone, President of Rand Engineering and Architecture. I'd like to speak to you about construction contracts between owners and contractors. Because now you have an important phase of the project where you, don't, where you don't want to have an undue delay. So you've got your engineer architect put together a set of construction documents based on a budget that you've approved. You've put that package out for bid. You've selected a contractor and we're ready to go. And the last thing we want to do is have the project bogged down in a long-winded um, negotiation between the parties. So what we want to do is we want to move ahead in an efficient, effective way. And what I've found is that the best way to do that is to utilize the construction contracts that were developed by the American Institute of Architects, the AIA, in consultation with all the industry groups, contractors, agents, owners, engineers, architects. The typical series that we utilize is the AIA A101 and its companion document, the A201. That most construction contracts fall into that category. The smaller projects utilize the A107 series, um, but most projects will use, utilize the 101, 201. And the idea here is that this document has essentially been pre-approved by the industry. So almost all contractors, if RAND drafts an AIA contract, almost all contractors will sign it almost sight unseen because they know what's in there and they've seen it before. So the less that we manipulate that document, the better. There are certain clauses in there that I think are too beneficial to the contractor, we might strike them out. Um, but the less I touch it, the easier it will be to, to get approval from the contractor. Now conversely, most owners, um, their legal counsel will say that they want to add some rider or change some clauses in the AIA because they think they're too beneficial to the contractor. And that's fine and it's to be expected. But, we, but what will bog down a project is if we get a 75-page rider that raises all kinds of issues that tilts the contract further on the owner's side beyond what is typically expected because now the contractor is going to push back here, there, and everywhere. And next thing we know, we're three months later and nothing started yet. So um, an efficient rider drafted by owner's legal counsel that talks about some key points that the owner feels need to be shifted um, usually is not a problem. So in a, in, a, in a perfect scenario, we're authorized to draft an agreement utilizing the AIA document. We put that together. We send it to the owner. They have their legal counsel review it. They add uh, a rider of some kind. We make sure that it doesn't contradict anything else in the bid package that we developed. And we put it forward to the contractor for signature. And we get a quick signature and we're ready to go.